that tone, it's a real money in the room. Yeah, um, from my perspective, it almost looked like what he was doing worked. Like he was kicking down the dope. You know right. what I mean? And when he gets killed, it's like a, another rapper who could have been something for the city. Um, how, how did the city of Baton Rouge take his death? They, the city, you know, they took it. They took it kind of hard, you know. Uh, well, you know, they had they had a lot of people that that liked them and loved them, and then they had the ones that felt like that he had it coming to him because of he was rapping about shit he was doing like in the game, and it ain't had like I say it ain't had nothing to do with the South or what was going on in the South. He had a lot of shit going on just in the streets in general. So, you know, nigga was feeling like, you know, that something like that would happen anyway because he wasn't ducking that. Like, you know, like, you know, some of them just, oh, well, you know? Yeah. And, and and that's the kind of, like, how it was. Like, like, once I saw it working for him, you know, because he used to try to keep me in it. Like he was, cause he knew my story, you know? So he used to try to say, stay in it, stay in it. You know, you a part of it now, stay in it. And I'm like, I don't believe it because I ain't getting nothing out of it. So, you know, but, but, so he was like, well, okay, I'll help you. You know, you can write some songs for me and I'll pay you. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, let's do it. But in the process of us doing that, he's still making songs and he's saying certain things that I'm not cool with him saying. And I'm like, you know, bro, I asked you not to do that. And, you know, he gave me that look like, you know, like, bro, like, you know, my bad, but this this what I'm doing, you know, this working. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it alone. What, what did he say that had you where you drew the line? Well, he knew he knew how he knew how close that my relationship was with Ivory because like I say he was right there with us. Coming up Nussie was right there on 15, we was on 16, he right there on 15. And um so he knew how close we was. And um I don't know I don't know, you know, about what all took place, how they fell out or nothing, nothing because I was always my own man doing my own thing. But um uh, I just knew that from by me being in hands on with a lot of the stuff that went on in the area, I knew that personally that he didn't have anything to do with that. But when you listen at his music, he was leaving it questionable. And I was like, you know, I felt like that, that you, you know, like I felt like that you don't have to do that. You know, you can leave that alone because we going to honor each other. You know, like like they should have people doing documentaries, honoring him, the people he helped or whatever, whatever. But I don't know, you know, but it's, it's just it's unfortunate, bro. you know, because like I said, I knew all these dudes, but. I came from Detroit. You know, any time they wanted to just say, oh, you from Detroit, they could have, you know? So, but you know, it was just South Side. They knew I was, I was hard headed from the gate. Like I said, I was the leader of the wrong crowd from the gate. So, that's how that went. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room.